I'm ready. Are you ready to rock? We're ready to go ghost hunting. How are you can do with the ghost? Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> I look like a crackhead. Okay, let me stop. Okay, let me just say my notes so far, huh? Yeah, just roll it up a little bit because the noise is just um, piercing. Oh, it's him <laughs> raging and raging. Let's look at him, huh? That's nice. He has a mask on, a bird one. And there's only two people there watching. Okay, so first off, the Emily Morgan Hotel. Did you know this thing is the third most haunted in the world? Are you serious? The third most haunted in the world. Emily, as a colored woman, right, opened the hotel in 1984. Bought a coach, right? <laughs> Damn. I mean, team. just like. Hey, but he said, keep my eyes on this road. That's enough of that. Right. Don't ruffle his feathers. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> it's just a spooky night. Okay, so check this out. She was a servant, right, for many years until her and her colleagues got kidnapped by the Mexican cavalry. Eventually, General Santa Ana, right, took a fancy to our little lady, Emily. So before the battle, he invited her into the room, right? You know, just for some entertainment. Some say that she danced with him, and some say that she slipped a little drug concoction in his drink. <laughs> what is the term I freaking used? That rendered him useless for the battle. But some say she was so skilled that basically she helped them win within 18 minutes. Whatever that means. Look it up yourself because that's what it says. They end up winning, blah, blah, blah. Poor little Emily got stuck there in Texas though. And she had lost all her documentation for her to travel and to prove that she was a freed uh, like slave person or servant. Somebody had came and vouched for her because I think they remember her from being, you know, with Santa Ana and all that. So they had vouched for her, for her to get like documentation and actually go out and she eventually went to New York, blah, blah, blah. Fast forward, you know, she built the hotel in whatever year I said earlier and haunted. Let's get to the good part. So why is it haunted, right? Because the hotel was also a medical center or me medical arts building, but it was used for like medicine, surgery, and even a morgue in the basement. So the haunted 14th floor. They said that the, you know, the medicines and all the surgical tools and stuff of like, you know, the metals is like embedded in the walls and that you can just smell it. And it's just the energy and everything is just still there. Of course, the 14th floor is actually the 13th floor, as we all know, because 13, of course, is bad luck. Uh -huh. So what have guests been seeing? Guests have reported to open the doors to the hallways to only find a scene from a hospital waiting inside like so i'm guessing if you open a door you see like a glimpse i guess their eyes play trick with them and like they, they'll see a scene or something like a maybe even a hospital bed or something like lights flickering you know those movies that'd be like they're right. deceiving you and you open the door and like that ain't it you know what that's not the one i was looking and then they said that they would close the door hard and they would take a deep breath and then swing it right back open and like everything's normal how does that work i don't know this is on the 12th floor Guests have said that they visibly witness their bathroom doors open and shut on them. And they said in the dead of night, they would hear like water trickling from the faucet. And then as soon as they would get up, it would like rush even more. And then as soon as they like go to their door, like it, everything would stop. Nothing coming out, everything was back to normal. So basically like their mind was playing tricks on them. And also I seen on here that others have seen like lights flashing in their rooms. And sometimes they will see apparitions of nurses in the hallways as if they were like willing down the gurneys, like down the hallway, which is crazy. And interesting, this is the one I was like, ew, not ew, but like I was like, what the heck? It said that disturbingly, Emily Morgan's swimming pool has been constructed out of the stainless steel uh, from the medical center's operating tables. Stop it. So you're telling me you're swimming in backs, well not backs, but <laughs> backs of the, <laughs> that was do, 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 in the like back scaled ashes. <laughs> I'm glad I took a picture of the swimming pool. So I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna look and see if there's anything. Swing! This one is called, the elevators have a mind of their own. 
Mm -hmm. Have you seen Devil with us? Mm -hmm. Ugh. So it said that the elevators will skip past the requested floor as though the guests have never pushed their desired floor at all. Sometimes even the elevators will cling shut and remain closed for hours. And even strange twist, the front desk attendants often receive unlisted phone calls from the elevator, even when nobody's even in it. So it'll ring, they'll pick up, check the cameras, there's nothing in there. No one, no one appears to be in there, which is crazy. And it's also common that the elevators bring the guests down, 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 down to the basement where the morgue was. Imagine, imagine, I'm gonna clap your ass back to reality because this is ridiculous. Real don't end the retunk. Mm -hmm. Imagine doing that, like going down the elevator and opening it from Silent Hill scene. You got me all the way. <laughs> This is the last one. This is the basement level. I'm nervous to read this one. I don't even want to read it. They said right now that everything is roped off except for employees, but like no guests can go down there, which is weird how the elevator goes down there and opens up. I can only imagine. I cringe, I cringe, I cringe, I cringe, I cringe. For years, the basement was used for the morgue and a crematorium, of course, all the bodies. They said the number of bodies, it could range in the hundreds. So of course, everything smells bad down there. But they said the um, employees that go down there have experienced some weird transpiring. So they usually have seen like glowing orbs dancing in the air, as well as hearing disembodied voices that have no source. No known, no known source. <laughs> wow. <laughs> knowing knowing sorry <laughs> voices that have no known <laughs> you don't want me to feel myself i said it funny again didn't I? <laughs> I felt it but i didn't feel it until you laughed i was like <laughs> But they said none of this compares to the stench of burning human flesh. Funny though, it says that each floor has their own scent, but nothing compares to the basement scent, of course, knowing that there's been hella human remains. But I think that's mainly it. Are y'all ready to go on an adventure? Let's go walk around and see. We're not going inside. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's do it. Stop, because my camera is really blurry, bro, and I cannot get no view, I'm scared. This picture could be disturbing to some viewers. Oh my God, I'm nervous, oh my God. It, it, it's creepy, very disturbing. 